Backdrop Designer is designed for creating digital backdrops. Very similar to the muslin backgrounds that you find normally used for portraiture and product shots and other types of photography. So the first thing we're going to do is start off with creating a different backdrop. So let's come down here to our filter menu, go to Digital Anarchy, and select Backdrop Designer. That will launch the Backdrop Designer interface. And there's several components to the Backdrop Designer interface. There's the texture portion of it, and this allows you to select the pattern and color that are going to make up our backdrop. And then there's the shadow section, which allows you to create and modify a shadow, which is going to simulate kind of a 3D surface, which is going to essentially simulate the look of a curtain or other realistic type of surface. We have our mutation sections, which allow you to automatically generate different variations of what you have selected in the main window. And you can just click on that and get different variations. You have the expanded options here on both sides that allow you to adjust the colors, add a blur in, adjust the mutation level so you get something that's a little bit closer to what you started off with. And on the shadow side, you can adjust the brightness and contrast, the opacity level, add a blur in. And of course, with both sides, you can rotate these around, scale them up or scale them down, as the case may be. And it just allows you to customize the look of your final backdrop. So what we're going to do here is, I like the texture that we have, but I'm not crazy about this shadow pattern. So let's open up our preset manager. If I click on load here, It'll load up the Preset Manager, which has a couple hundred different presets for shadows. And we can scroll down, check out the various different types of shadows that we can use. But in this case, I'm going to grab one from the Long Fabrics category. And we'll select this guy. And right off the bat, the opacity is a little bit too high. We've got a little bit too much darkness in here, so we can adjust the opacity level down a bit. I'd like to rotate this a little bit, so we'll rotate it like that and click and drag in the window and move it around, move it off to the side. And this is going to give us a pretty nice simulation of a drapery being hung from one side with a couple pleats down the side here, but otherwise very smooth and flat. Now if we go ahead and apply this, send this back into Photoshop with our texture rendered out on a separate layer and now we have one backdrop that we can use with our model. Now I'm going to create another layer and create another backdrop. We can of course create as many different backdrops as we want on different layers. And So let's go back into Backdrop Designer and now I'm going to do a couple different things. I'm going to go into our texture presets and there's several hundred different texture presets that you can choose from. All sorts of different color categories. And different patterns that you can select from. We'll go into our blue category and we'll come down and we'll select this one. And this will move us back into our main texture window. And you see this is now applied to our shadow. And if we click on this, you can see that it generates mutations that are relatively similar to what we have here. Now if you're not crazy about the color, we can make adjustments here too. So if you like that pattern, but you want something maybe a little bit different color-wise, we can certainly come in here and do that. So let's make some adjustments. We'll use that. Kind of give it a kind of yellow color cast and desaturate it somewhat. One of the other nifty features of Backdrop Designer is it allows you to bend the texture around the shadow map. 
allowing the shadow to distort the texture, making it look more like three-dimensional surface and better selling the effect of actual drapes. Now you can do that with the bend dialog. Now with this texture there's really no defined pattern and so it's a little bit less obvious that the texture is being wrapped around the folds in the shadow map. But when you do have a texture that has a more defined shape it becomes very obvious that the bend is happening. Now one other very useful thing that's in the bend dialog is the use custom map. And what this allows you to do is use a bitmap instead of the built-in shadow maps. Now this is great if you want the drapes to hang in a very particular way. You can actually go down to your studio, take a white or gray canvas, light it however you want, hang it however you want, take a picture of that, and then load that into Backdrop Designer, and Backdrop will wrap the texture around your bitmap image. So in this case, we have a image of a canvas hung up in one corner, creating several pleats, and then mostly smooth out in this area. And so we're going to use that as our shadow map. So if we click OK, you can see that the texture is now mapped onto this. And let's go into our edit controls here. We have a blur applied to the shadow map. And so if we remove the blur, see it gets a little bit more defined. And we can adjust this to taste. And we're going to blur it out a little bit. And we can also increase the brightness and contrast to brighten this up a little bit. Because by default, in this large flat area, there's a lot of darker grays. And if we want to lighten things up, we need to increase the brightness and then increase the contrast a bit to get the effect that we want. And we'll also increase the opacity level making the shadows a bit darker and making the contrast have a little bit more of an effect. And so now we have this custom bitmap with this texture mapped onto it, making it look even more realistic. And now we'll click apply and go back into Photoshop. And now we've got two different layers that we can use as backgrounds for our final image. Of course you can create as many different backdrops as you want. Just create a bunch of new layers, apply different variations of backdrop, so that when you go to present your client with the finished product, you can offer them really an infinite variety of backgrounds. 